Right, got it. This doesn't seem right. Hmm, looks like garbage. Don't need this. I just saw a mouse over here. I've been seeing more and more of them. Can't check that off yet. Did that. What's up? Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? I think someone's been trying to lure them inside. Everyone on this team has his quirks, so that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? Nobody's that mental. I better get to work. Have fun! It's too soon to go to bed. I can't hit the sack just yet. I think I've got everything I need. Does this look about right? No, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't have everything I need for the disaster kit. I should double check the list. I think I've got everything I need. Does this look about right? No, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I guess I don't have everything I need for the disaster kit. I should double check the list. I think I've got everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. Thanks. Sure thing! Can't 
check that off yet. What's going on? What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Or Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. I'll let you get back to work. Ta-ta. I can't go to bed yet. That ought to do it. Wow, Scott's got you doing a lot of work lately. I don't think we've met. Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it all. Do it pretty darn well, too. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before I met Scott or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, jump out, snap some pictures, roll some video, jump back in, drive some more, just looking for good pictures, you know? I wasn't really paying attention to what the storm was doing until all of a sudden it got really, really dark. And then it just started pouring. And I mean, rain was coming down like my car had stopped under Niagara Falls, and the wind was blowing and the car was swaying, and then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized, then all of a sudden, the windshield shatters and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap, then another, then another. Turns out, I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You'd punch the what of the who? <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail that no one's been able to top yet. 
Overnight, I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, to Frosty Harlow, fearless documenter of extreme weather phenomena. What happened to your arm? What, these scratches? Ah, just a few minor war wounds. See, I was climbing the fence next to the old Fraser Creek windmill so I could get a clear shot of some amatis clouds. And what happens? I drop my camera bag right into a patch of brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off when I went to grab it. Have you ever been, you know, seriously injured? Nah, but then I'm still relatively new to the storm chasing biz. I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. I've harassed you enough. Take care. What's up? That's it for now. Have fun! Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. I'm back. All right, then. I'm back. I am much obliged. 
Can you remind me how to fix the fuses? What y'all are looking at is the fuse board for the screen. The fuses are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they numbered from one to eight? Yeah. What you gotta do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Including diagonals? Yep. Fuse number one can't be touching fuse number two, which can't be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Got that? I think so. Good. You know you're done when the screen lights up. With any luck, I'll be done out here about the same time. I did it! The screen says it's initializing. And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Again, I appreciate the help. Do they call you Chase because you, you know, chase tornadoes? And do they call you Nancy because you Nancy too many questions? Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. A lot of people think that, but the truth is, it's my name. Has been since before the day I was born. How long have you been chasing tornadoes? Well, this here's my first time. Took a class from Scott last semester. Next thing I know, I'm on his team. Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you were placing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job, fixing stuff. From what I hear, you must be a busy guy. Yeah, the team's had a share of technical difficulties, that's for sure. Any idea why that is? Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person, no, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. Not that it bothers me. I like fixing stuff, and I like keeping busy, so this here's the perfect job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what, over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board to use till it's been wired up just right, how about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in pop pennies? Of course, since wiring up wrong just makes more work for me, you make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Depending on how you did. What do you say? Couldn't you just give me the paw pennies? Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime you want, just go on over there and start wiring up boards. There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything else on your mind? The guy I'm replacing, what was the matter with his car? I mean, A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two-by-four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. You seem awfully interested in those pennies. Hey, now, that's not yours. You seem awfully interested in those pennies. Can I help you with something? This place could really use a cat. Did that.
haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. All right, that's how it should look. Check. Can't check that off yet. Time to turn in, Nancy.
Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? I better get to work. Have fun! It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. That looks right. No, I am staying at Canute. As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> you're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Hello, PK. Now's not a very good time to talk. Not a good time? Hardly. Indy, one of my assistants just showed me footage taken by those storm chasers you're with, and they get way too close to the storm. You don't need to be getting that close to the storm. That's why I invented those machines. Okay, I'll be sure to keep my distance. Oh, good. Uh, not that I was worried that you would. <laughs> not that I was worried at all, actually. I'm uh, I'm not the type to worry. I'm, uh, now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read, 
There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Check. So, what's up? I've harassed you enough. Pop in any time. What's up? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun! Hey there. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never-ridden bull in a buck and shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together? I like him fine. Got this sixth sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? Not a chance. He's got this real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever gonna come his way. Sad, but true. Will it bother you if his team doesn't win? Heck yeah, I'd like to win. It's gonna bother me a lot. But as long as you got Scott for a leader, ain't no way. I'd better get going. Adios. Wrong car. Don't forget me. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. This will help you identify the shots you need to take. 
When we get some good photos, we'll move on. That's the idea. Keep trying. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? You've got to keep a sharp eye out or you'll miss what's right in front of you. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? That's a good one. That's a good one. Can't check that off yet. That's a good one. That's a good one.